Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little longer than I wanted to between this and the last video, but between how dark and gray and rainy it's been here and recently having family in town, I just didn't really have the opportunity to film. And uh, I'm in a different area today because my normal filming area is in our bedroom and the hubster is still asleep. So I'm in the spare bedroom slash my closet filming on the floor so hopefully the angle and the lighting is okay <clears throat> there's actually a sun outside so I'm using natural light which is exciting and um, it's also exciting because the video I wanted to do today is about sunglasses but I thought I would do something a little different so instead of talking about say my favorite sunglasses or my uh, newest sunglasses, I thought that I would make a video about some of my craziest style of sunglasses. So the sunglasses that to me are the less classic, or I'm sorry, the least classic in my collection. I really love a statement pair of sunglasses for their ability to bring an element of interest to an otherwise simple or understated outfit. And I love my sunglasses in particular because if I happen to be wearing an outfit that's more simple, I can use these sunglasses as a way to bring in a little bit of drama that my personality likes into what I'm wearing. So if you are interested in seeing what I consider to be my least classic pair of sunglasses or my craziest pair of sunglasses, then stick around. The first pair is actually two pairs, but they're identical, just in different colors, so I'm counting them as one. And they are inspired by the Chloe Carlina sunglasses, which I actually owned, but I was experiencing some buyer's remorse, so I returned them. But I really loved the style, so I looked around for sunglasses that were similar and found these and was very pleased with them. So they are by a brand called Grinder Punch. I'd never heard of them before and I found them on Amazon and these are they. They're these extraordinarily large round sunglasses with this beautiful wire wrapped frame and a um, brown gradient lens in gold hardware and this really lovely step down detail here that reminds me of the 70s. It's very similar to the Carlinas. I'm, I was very pleased with them. These are called the Halo, and this is what they look like on. Oh, I love them. I probably look a little bit like a bug, and I don't care because I just love how, I'm just gonna get closer. I just love how big they are. I love how they extend out past my face. I love the gradient lens. It's just very retro and 70s to me. This is what they look like from the side. I just think they're spectacular. So I got these for about $10 and I was so tickled by the style and the price point that I decided to get them in another colorway. So I got a second pair in silver hardware and a gray gradient lens. And this is what it looks like from the side. So this is what these look like on. <laughs> I just love them. The lenses on these are a little bit lighter and so I wouldn't tend to wear this on a very bright summer day. I'd wear them on a, an overcast day that was still a little bright, but both of them do have UV protection. So for the price point, I was really pleased. So these are pretty wackadoo, wouldn't you say? Love these. So they definitely earned a place in one of my craziest pair of sunglasses. The next pair are by Celine, and they didn't have a name, they just have a serial number. But I saw these and just thought that they were perfection. And they're these uh, white acetate squared shaped sunglasses with a mm, dark gradient lens. And this is what these look like on. I've actually showed these on my channel before in a What's in My Bag video. I love these. They're a little bit heavy, but they're not too bad. I can wear these for um, a fairly long time. 
but I love how, again, how they extend out past my face, and I love that bright white color, especially against my skin. They're just really fantastic and fun. This is what they look like from the side, and they have the classic um, Celine triple dots. I'll put them on again. Yeah. They're just great. <laughs> I love these so much. So I, I think that these are pretty statement and definitely earn a place in one of my five crazy pairs of sunglasses. They are pretty crazy. This next pair of sunglasses I'm about to show you are easily my part of my top two to three pair of sunglasses that I own. I love them and they are by Jimmy Choo and I think the case, I think the packaging is even really beautiful so I wanted to show it to you. It's this cream colored snakeskin embossed case with gold hardware and the very sleek Jimmy Choo uh, engraved in the hardware and it's round. I feel like it fits nicely in the hand and it's not a super huge hard case so this actually fits into a lot of my bags but I just think the packing the packaging is even really beautiful but the sunglasses <laughs> okay let me just show you these are them they're highly reflective and black rimmed round framed sunglasses and this black rim comes in a couple other colors. I believe I saw them in white and a tortoise shell, but I really liked the black against the gold. If you can get that into view, yeah. But the best part of these sunglasses, the the thing that gives me life about these sunglasses is that this Swarovski crystal encrusted flap that leads into the earpiece. Are you kidding me? See if I can get, I mean, what kind of drugs was the designer on? And why can I have some? Amazing. These sunglasses are inspired by the, or they remind me of the, um, the steampunk era, which I think was in the twenties. And when I think of steampunk, I kind of think of this, this apocalyptic, dark side of the industrial revolution vibe. I don't know if that's correct, but that's the vibe that I get. Let me just put these on. This is what they look like. Get back here. Aren't they so beautiful? I just love these. And this is what they look like from the side. That crystal popping through. Oh my, I, <laughs> I love these, oops, so much. They're very, very comfortable, very lightweight, uh, and don't give me a headache at all. I love these. And I think them being really highly reflective and having this zhuzh of the Swarovski crystal makes them a little bit different. So I had to include them. The next pair are by Matsuda, which is a Japanese company. And I actually own a pair of sunglasses, or sorry, uh, eyeglasses by them that I've had for at least 12 years and they've held up really beautifully and so I was excited to see their sunglasses and I actually got them while I was on vacation in New Mexico from this boutique called Ojo Optique that just has stunning sunglasses the owners have spectacular taste and the one I went to was in Albuquerque, but they apparently have an even bigger store in Santa Fe, so I will be going back. But let's get back to the sunglasses. I really like this case too. I just like how small it is and I like the shape. I think it's a really nice case. <clears throat> but these sunglasses, it's another round lens, round lens sunglass. Actually, almost all of them are round lens. I guess that's the theme but they're these round rose gold, I'm sorry, rose gradient lens sunglasses with gold hardware. And one of my favorite parts of the style is this exaggerated bar that goes across the lenses. And this is what they look like from the side. And all of the gold 
has this beautiful etching. I think that's showing up, yeah. This beautiful etching. And the final detail that I thought was really cool is the Matsuda M, that little drop of, oh, what color would you call that? Burgundy that matches the frame on the side. I love that. And this is the etching from the top. I just think it's really pretty. So this is what these look like on. And I just think they're really, really fun. I love this exaggerated bar here. I think that's very cool. I love the etching. I love the rose colored gradient lens. I think that's really unusual. So these, again, are pretty um, light, so I would wear these. I wouldn't wear this on a very uh, bright sunny day, but on an overcast day that was a little brighter, or maybe on a snowy day. So I think these are a little bit crazy and a little bit wackadoo, and so I definitely had to talk about them in this video. I mean, aren't they? Love these. Okay, so we are on the last pair, and they are by Lindbergh. And these sunglasses are so crazy that I'm not even really sure how to introduce them. So I'm just going to show them to you. They are this, ah, like egg-shaped or oval-shaped lens with a central round lens that's dark. This is the part that protects you from the sun. And this, in this dull gold hardware, and they're very, very flexible. I think that they are made out of titanium. They are extremely lightweight. And let me just show you what they look like on because I have never seen anything like this before. I'm just getting a little closer. I mean, have I lost my mind? I love these. I, I've never seen anything like them before. I'll just scooch back. They're just so nuts. And I feel like I get really great protection from bright sunlight from the center round lens here. They're just berserk. <laughs> I love them. This is what they look like from the side. I mean, I just don't even understand who in their right mind would love these sunglasses, but I freaking love them. Have you ever seen anything that's nuts before in sunglasses? They're just awesome. And like I was saying before, because they are, I'm pretty sure they are titanium. Look how flexible they are. I think that is awesome. Um, they are so lightweight. I have never worn glasses this comfortable. It's like I'm not wearing anything. They're wonderful. So <laughs> I think that these absolutely deserve, they're probably my craziest pair of sunglasses. They're probably the craziest pair of sunglasses in existence. But if you've seen Crazier, I would like to know because I am pretty sure I would want to own them. So that is it. Those are my five craziest pairs of sunglasses in my wardrobe. I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to subscribe and help me reach my goal of 100 subscribers by the end of the year. I would really appreciate it. And really, if you do know of a crazier pair of sunglasses, please link it down below because I would love to go check them out. And if you do a sunglass collection or sun like crazy pair of sunglass video or whatever it is, I really like watching videos about sunglasses. So I would love to hear about it and I would go have a watch. Um, I am going to go enjoy the rest of this really sunny day because it has not been sunny here in a while. So I'm very excited. I hope that you guys have a good rest of your day and a good weekend if it's the weekend when you're watching. And take care and have a good day. Peace, Ians.